Diclofenac is a medication that belongs to the class of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, which are used in the treatment of inflammatory conditions, pain, and fever. Whenever there is inflammation, membrane phospholipids are taken up and converted to arachidonic acid by an enzyme called phospholipase. Arachidonic acid is then converted to prostaglandins and prostercyclins by the enzymes cyclooxygenous 1 and cyclooxygenous 2. COX-1 is a constitutive enzyme, which means it is always active. By contrast, COX-2 is an inducible enzyme, in other words, it should get activated to elicit its effects. Once released, these substances cause vasodilation and increase blood flow to the affected area. They also attract immune cells to the site, especially neutrophils, macrophages, and lymphocytes, and further aggravate the immune response. They also act on the hypothalamus to set the temperature set point at a higher degree, causing fever. Finally, they act on the nociceptive neurons and lower their threshold for painful stimuli, which induces pain. In addition, prostaglandins have other functions as well. These include secretion of protective mucus in the gastric mucosa, enhanced uterine contractions, and reduced gastric acid secretion. The main mechanism of action of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is to inhibit either COX-1 or COX-2, or both, and reduce the synthesis of prostaglandins and prostercyclins. Diclofenac competitively inhibits arachidonic acid from binding to COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes, which reduces the production of both prostaglandins and prostercyclins. So, diclofenac has anti-inflammatory effects, analgesic effects, and antipyretic effects. If we look at pharmacokinetics of the drug, diclofenac preparations commonly pair the drug with a salt, such as sodium, potassium, and apollomin. Diclofenac sodium is available in many forms, including oral, intravenous, intramuscular, as transdermal gels, and as suppositories. By contrast, diclofenac potassium and diclofenac apollomin are available only as oral preparations and transdermal patches respectively. Once in the bloodstream, diclofenac is extensively plasma protein bound. The drug concentrates within synovial joints, which makes it a good choice for the management of joint pain. Diclofenac is metabolized by the liver via glucuronidation and sulfation, and it is eliminated by the kidneys. Interactions with aspirin, lithium, digoxin, methotrexate, cyclosporin, cholesterol, and cholestopol have been reported and should be used with caution. Diclofenac is mainly indicated for the management of acute and chronic pain associated with inflammatory conditions, including osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. It is also used to treat a condition called actinic keratosis, a dry scaly patch on the skin, develops as a consequence of long-term sun exposure. Additionally, diclofenac eye drops are used to treat eye pain, photophobia, and corneal abrasions. Other indications of diclofenac include the following. In the acute management of biliary colic, treatment of gout, fever, muscle pain, as a part of post-operative pain management, and migraine. Adverse effects of diclofenac can include many organ systems. Considering the cardiovascular system, prostaglandin has cardioprotective effects in the form of preventing thrombogenesis, atherogenesis, and reducing blood pressure. Therefore, inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis by diclofenac increases the risk of myocardial infarction, heart failure, and stroke. So, patients at risk of these events should receive the lowest effective dose. In the gastrointestinal tract, reduced prostaglandin synthesis may lead to mucosal damage and GI bleeding. In the kidneys, prostaglandins maintain an adequate renal perfusion. Reduced prostaglandin synthesis in the kidneys may reduce renal blood flow and GFR, which can manifest as acute kidney injury. And the risk increases in patients with prior kidney damage. In the liver, diclofenac can cause drug-induced hepatic damage. Hematological manifestations include increased risk of bleeding, neutropenia and aplastic anemia with long-term treatment. It can also cause dermatological effects such as mild to moderate skin irritation with topical application. 
Finally, diclofenac is contraindicated in patients who are at risk of cardiovascular events such as myocardial infarction and stroke. In patients who are at risk of bleeding. In patients with renal insufficiency. In patients with liver disease. In patients with a history of GI bleeding and peptic ulcers. Moreover, diclofenac and misoprostol should not be given together in pregnancy as it can cause miscarriages.